What can you tell us about the show and your character? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying something different to everyone just to see what people will print. <laughs> Or air. Now, um, so my character, I play Selma, who has struggled with losing somebody very close to her, uh, a fiancé or a husband, and uh, I'm not sure if he was her fiancé or her husband, I can't remember, but uh, so she lost this person who was very close to her and has always struggled with some mental illness issues. Um, that sort of push 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 my character into a new a new level of sort of not dealing with things well and taking medication. My psychiatrist is played by by Eric Roberts Randall. Uh, he was mine and my husband's psychiatrist, and he sort of uses the opportunity that I'm in a weakened state against me and starts to use medication as a way of controlling. Um, so we end up married, we end up together, I end up depending on him in that way, um, but it, it's a tumultuous relationship as you, if you saw the, pre the preview, the premiere, you can see. Um, so that's kind of where my character fits into this jigsaw puzzle. It is a very um, multi-layered show that uh, you will see as, as time goes on, how the way that things unfold and, and sort of has an alternate reality. The real world, the meta world, uh, living in, in kind of an alternate reality, um, and all of our characters fit in and have a different place in that world and for different reasons, without giving too much away. That's the gist. Of it. But, but but you know, I've I've heard it likened to kind of Lost meets The Walking Dead, which you see none of that in the preview, but that kind of thing starts to unfold as time goes on. No, you're. something that you're drawn to or is that uh... I mean I'm not I'm not the person who's looking it up but if something captures my attention if something captures my imagination I'm always a fan of that so what I love about science fiction I mean ultimately is the combination of the what if could it be and when you look back and you think about science fiction from, from years ago and they become it's not fiction anymore you know it's like it's reality and the idea that stuff that we are toying with or playing with or you know at this point right now in 2017 are things that in the not too distant future may very well be a reality may very well not be fiction but, you know so so that that I think is interesting I've always thought that was fascinating what was it that kept your attention about this that made you want to do it this was a very last minute decision on my part they had offered the role to, to, to another actress actually um, so for me it was two days I had to make a decision I love the idea of um, I thought the story was interesting uh, so that was obviously part of it I spoke to Ahmed on the phone he had assured me and told me where the character was heading and um, so that, that, that was interesting and helpful. Um, and I think for me, the adventure of going to the Middle East to pioneer uh, a new market, a new job in this completely untouched market was interesting. I thought that, that alone was actually kind of interesting. I knew what the landscape looked like. I wanted to explore it and see it for myself. And then when, when I heard the... He's, he's, he's brilliant. Ahmed is a brilliant guy. I mean, um, he, he can sell you on things. He's, he's interesting. How did the experience compare with like a big budget Hollywood type of? Well, I'll tell you, some of the sets and some of the money that they spent on some of this stuff was as big as I've ever seen. I mean, truly, from being on big budget things, some of the sets were so impressive. Um, Eric and I would sit down sometimes. There was a cave set, and it was just more incredible than anything I'd ever seen. And he, you know, it's funny because I had sets similar to that on Species, even where we were trapped in places, and you know, they didn't even compare to what the, what the stuff that was built there, and the, the studio, and some of the locations that we had. And, Outstanding. I mean, truly amazing. Yeah, I was really blown away by that, that part of it, particularly. Yeah, when we got out into the desert, it was a little more different. You know? Yeah, I um, heard the heat was a bit much. That was uh, tough. Really, yeah. really tough. Like, I can't deny it. Uh, as soon as the later it got during the year that we were there, it was, it was pretty trying. Um, 
And sometimes, you know, they're doing really big, you know, um, drone shots and big wide shots. So you can't even be really that close to a trailer or a shelter or tents or anything. So you're out there in it and literally like trying to hide umbrellas and, you know, people are running with umbrellas to try and just give you a little bit of shade for a little while. So that, that part was a bit of a challenge for sure. But um, ultimately, the people were amazing. The cast was very, very much bonded, um, which makes this so fun. Um, yeah, just bonding with the cast and everything was really special, special time. Particularly when you're really out of your element. Um, are you done with me? <laughs> so, so what what would you say to recommend this? Uh, recommend this? Like, if someone asks you why should I watch the show, what would you um, what would you say? Let's say because I'm in it. Well, that's a given. But like, <laughs> No, I think it's politically, I think it's interesting, I think it's, um, it's, it's, it's got an interesting commentary on certain things that are happening in the world, but more than anything, I think it's the people getting together, having a common goal of moving something forward, and I think that's cool. In terms of how and why people will watch, there's going to be really cool, cool stuff coming up. Um, alternate reality stuff. I don't want to say monsters, but, you know, there's, there, we're, we're heading into some different dimensions of worlds throughout the show, so I think that'll be entertaining for people.